and good morning. This is the book that most of us have been talking about for days. It's about the child killer Mary Bell, and it's published today. June Richardson, the mother of one of the victims, and his sisters are in the studio this morning, reliving their trauma yet again. We're told the book can help us understand the minds of child killers. But should it ever have been written? Should this book have been written, Beverly? Definitely. Why? Well, because I think it's an issue of free speech. Um, I'm not too interested in the issue itself, but I think as it has been written, it should be published. Um, people do not have the right not to be offended. But even if it offends people deeply? Well, who decides? If, if you're saying that it, it, it offends people, who decides then? June? Uh, if you'd had a life like mine through this type of thing, you might not be able to see what you're seeing now. Explain. Um, Gideshini fetched the first book out. She um, published it without my knowledge. I went into Newcastle and all I could see in Newcastle was Mary Bell's face. Now you've got to remember, my son was only four. And then she took his life. And I hope you can be as forgiven as I'm trying to be. But I don't think, I don't think it's the, the issue of the crime. The issue is a, an issue of free speech. You're talking to June. You're talking to June. It's an issue of free speech. This is free speech. It's all right free speech if it's not hurting people. But I, I tried to but commit suicide will, after that But book. things will always hurt people. There'll always be someone who'll be offended by something. And I'm afraid if you this know, book people should be is allowed to... Um, to be a book that will help me understand why this person murdered my child and another little boy, then I would have given the go-ahead. I believe in free speech. I also believe in rehabilitation. I work for NACRO for a year. So I, I'm not saying that any of these issues, all I'm saying is that this book was done in the wrong way. We were never warned. But I don't think the book should have to show that it's going to be a self-help. It's going to, it's going to um, shed some light. I think the most important thing is that I don't think certain things should be on, be, be on the pale. I think that if someone writes something, if someone wants to get something published, you can ignore it or you can um, read it. And it's entirely up to you. We're adults and we can deal with this. If Mary Bell hadn't have uh, strangled two little boys, she couldn't have wrote a book because she'd have nothing to write about. June, I object to the book being published for the simple reason I'm in the same boat as yourself. I've gone many years through it and honest to God, she should have been left in prison in the first place. She should never have come out. But should she not have been allowed to collaborate in the writing of this book? No, definitely not. Why not? Because they're getting the privileges of writing books in prison or out of prison after they've done time. What are we getting? Nothing. Helen? I think, um, when Turn around, Helen. I think when people say that she couldn't have written this book without... She shouldn't have been allowed to. Well, um, June was saying that she couldn't have written oh, this book sorry, yeah. without having um, murdered those two children. I think, obviously, that's right, but we all write books and we all... Um, we all our life experience informs what we do. And in a way, I'm somebody, gonna, somebody, somebody who's had extraordinary... I've had like 32 somebody, years of it and somebody, I'm not wrote a book. Yeah, well, you're in perfectly entitled to. She says, I don't want to. Somebody who's had an, a very boring, ordinary life is not necessarily going to write something very interesting. Somebody who's had an extraordinary had experience, my last then boring. somebody who's had something really unique and interesting happen to them has got more to say. Hang on, please, 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 hang on. It's unique and interesting what happened to Mary Bell. It is unique and interesting. No, it's a load of rubbish, that. No, definitely not. I didn't really quite agree with you. What you used the word unique, something unique and interesting I has think happened what's to Mary Bell. About it is unique and interesting. What? So you're so saying the, the fact that she killed, she strangled June's son. And then make and them unique and famous. June, June yes, gone. I mean, that, you're, you're saying to me that this, this girl is unique and me, interesting to make her famous. I think her experience is interesting, yes. Yeah. But it on, should please, be please. for psychologists. It should be for the academy, books to put in academies and libraries to train people to stop people killing people, not for the public to sort of right. bandy over it. Hold on, but no, I don't want Helen, Helen, go on, Audrey. My son was murdered. I'm with you. I've written a book and nobody's interested. Yeah, really. yeah. Exactly. Exactly the same. Nobody wants to know my side. 
But that's that's the free market of ideas, isn't it? That's but it just isn't because people. we're in touch with over 150 families, and many of them are absolutely desperate to get their stories told. They're asked to go on documentaries. Oh, they're asked to saying, go. So no, if they wrote no, their stories, it would be all right for Mary Bell to write. No, no, no. They, no, they want to tell their side of the story, but no one will listen. No one listens to the victim side. No one will publish them. There's too much. There's a lot of cases where there's been corruption in the judiciary, and no one will touch those stories with a barge pole. But the criminals are allowed to write their side of the story, and that's that's taken away free speech. Can you oh, learn anything from these books? Yeah, it's, it, it, it's po we need to know what, what makes a murderer tick. So we, 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 we can do something to, to help in the future. If, if we don't write them sensibly and with the proper people doing the ghosting, then we do have a problem. Margaret. But it's important we learn what is going on in their mind. Who can but not for life. profit. Margaret, Margaret, it's important we learn what's going on in their no, mind. No, no, because how can you believe a word that's coming out of Mary Bell's mouth? Here is a renowned liar. Exactly. She murdered two children. Excuse me, I'm speaking. How can you be assured that person is telling the truth? Certainly not Mary Bell. Mary Bell is a renowned liar. And how can you believe that all that she's saying about her mother? She waited till her mother dies to bring out a book? No, I'm afraid I don't believe a word that's of That's right. I mean, that, that's why this particular book is possibly not of a lot of value. No. Because, I mean, Geeta Serena's just written it for the money. Yes, I mean, she's not interested yeah. in, in, in the truth. Yeah. And as far yeah. as she's concerned, Mary Bell yeah. is very honest yeah. and would never lie to her because <laughs> she, took, she took six months to do it. But if we're going to write the books, we've got to write the books. Use sensible people like Paul, you know, that know what they're talking about, that know what they're doing, so that we can get to the truth and find out what's going on in there. Where minds. does the victims <laughs> come in all this? Surely the victims should be consulted. And if, it's, if it's going to be published, yes, we have to yes. be consulted. Because they must come when first it's published, and do we suddenly not find out? It, it's, it's a hell of a shock for us. Yes. Yes. Lindsay, can learn something? Yeah, it's an important social yeah. document. <laughs> we hear all this at the bottom line, and that's what we've got to look at. This is about money, and purely money. And what upsets me more than anything, it's not being given any scientific benefit whatsoever. Yeah. This has been hot round Fleet yeah, Street, who will pay the best <coughs> price, we're talking okay. about an author with two million pounds. That, that changes it and we'll come mm. on to that. All right. right. But leaving that to one side, let's, as, let's assume there's no money involved, nothing changed hands. Here's a legitimate, <coughs> honest, academic attempt to get into the mind of a child who is a child killer. We hear is that, is, is, that, book, is that itself a valuable thing th to this do? This book would not have been on the shelves if Murray Bell hadn't been paid money. What we're saying is, blood money is acceptable. That's what's been said here, and that isn't acceptable. The public out there will not accept that. And that's what we're talking about. We're talking about blood money, and actually giving money to people who have committed horrendous and hideous crimes to then benefit in the future. There's a clear message here, if we're not careful. Commit a crime and get money later. And we're not having that. That's not acceptable. And that's not what people wish to see. This is, this, this, is all about, Ellen, this is all about money. Just Absolutely. Not, not necessarily money for Mary Bell. No. But money well, for the publishers, money for Gita Serena. And what has happened here Can't is... Can't we learn? Can't we learn? We can learn. We can learn, we can learn yeah. from you this book. All, I, I, I have read the all, book. You say it's all about is, money. You've, you, you've written a lot of similar books, Clive, haven't you? Yeah, I've written well, other articles and, and, and been involved with a lot of criminals. So yours was all about money? All about money. All right. about money. But it's wrong. I will say now, it is wrong. The You're going to give the money back then? You're going to give no, all no, the money I back then? I, I didn't, I didn't, no, no, I didn't, if you, if I didn't you've repented, money out of it. If you've repented no, no, of what you've done, I didn't, you're going to give it all back. Money. I was paid, I was paid money. You're absolutely paid money. right. You were paid, you made money. Oh, you paid, you paid. You earned money for writing about people like Mary Bell. I agree, I agree. And you think it's wrong? I do. Right, you're going to give all that money back to, to the charities that are represented here today? No, it won't happen. It won't, it won't happen. No, I won't. Why not? No, I will not give it back. Why not? After all, we're the victims. Why can't yep. we get the new books? I was, I was yes. paid to do a job. Okay? And I you did, just said I, that job was wrong and the payment did, was no, wrong. No, no, I did that job at that particular moment in time and the people I wrote about were not paid. Okay? Huh. They were not paid. I but did, why not? I, why were they not paid? Because. Yeah. It was wrong to pay a criminal. Is it wrong that I earn my living as a writer or as a journalist this or is anything else? But is that, is that what, about, what about the profits? What about the great. profits? Well, Somebody's profiting from it. I agree. I agree. It we, is, groups like Dee's and mine, we're desperate for money to help the victims. Because your girlfriend was murdered. That's, that's right, yeah. My, girl, my girlfriend was murdered. Um, and we're all victims. And we struggle on to help people, help other victims that have come after us to try and survive what's happened to them. And all that's happening is the killers are profiting all the time, no, no, and no, we, the victims, in, 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 we get nothing and nobody to help us. In, in and, and people I, sit there I, piously saying, well, I was only doing my job. 
Oh, that's well, that's I, I, I know other I, people who said that too, I, don't I, we, Claire? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I was only doing my job. I'm doing your I'm job. Not, You're getting some of the profits out of Who was there for me? No, no, I wasn't getting profits. I got a salary. You got a salary. You got a salary. could have been a huge one. You're exploiting people like me. But the argument could be, Robert, you're exploiting Absolutely. Mary Bell and the people today with this programme, and you're getting paid. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, that's a, that's a, um, a hypocritical that's a argument. Rubbish. The point that you need to get to here is, A, is this the book, thing here, is this the book thing going today, to help anybody? The, the thing, thing today is, is to every help the victims, not the publishers. Right, and everybody here today has come of their own free mm. consent. Of course. They're not being talked about or written about without their permission. Should criminals then make profits from their crimes, Tony? First of all, I want to say this. It's a very emotive subject we're talking about here with children. It's a thing taboo. Do not touch a child, do not rape a woman, and don't be a grass. That is a criminal code that I live by. Yeah. Now, number two, I think there is an argument for this book. What worries me about it is the fact that money is being made from child crime. You made money from crime, I, Tony. Yes, I didn't want to do it. And I did not want to do it. And no, from writing I about it. it. I refused to do it. Oh, you're another one that didn't want to do no, it. I didn't want to do it. Did you take the money? Did you take the money, Tony? Yes, I did. I gave a lot to charity. I gave a lot to charity. A lot? Most of it went to charity. Why, what? Yeah. what? Yeah. Not at all, we didn't. Why didn't Most you? Most of it did. Why? Most of it did, Why not and I can all? prove that. How much did you keep for yourself? Obviously, I covered my expenses. Enough to keep you comfortable? No, 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 far be the case. Well, well, should he profit then? Hang on, please, No, he shouldn't profit. I mean, my father-in-law was murdered. Uh, in 1977, the man that actually wrote the book had stated in the newspapers that he was doing it to be a millionaire. I mean, does he realise the hurt and the, the, that he's causing the family? I mean, my, my husband is totally shattered to be all this. The, the families are shattered. Do they realise what they're doing to people for what? For money? I but mean. Then again. People make it out of crime. We, 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 we're talking about here now, journalists. Should they? What and we're asking you, should they? I, I, I don't know that, but I think... This is why he's making money. On the, on the, on the, on the uh, what the you message made money out of crime too, didn't you? I made an awful lot, yeah. <laughs> and, and from writing and selling it about it. I'm right, yeah, and I'm, I'm not right. embarrassed about and it. You, I'm not saying I'm really sorry for doing it. You've been charged with... You've been, let me just be clear. You've been charged with murders and... Twice. Uh, twice but with I was murders. found not guilty twice. Oh, yeah, charged. I did say charged. And, and a lot of, you've done a lot of other things too. But you, you're quite... Oh, honest and open about it. Of course, you're making money about writing about it right. now. Right. And should you be able to do that? Um, I am allowed to do it. I know, should and, you be? And I think that if there's the little group of people over there that would like to say, don't do it, Dave, because it's, again, it's a morally wrong, and there's 10 million people that are giving me a tenner of books, and I think it's right, I'm afraid I'm going with the masses, and I'm really well, sorry. I, 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 I think from this face, I know you are a gangster, or was a gangster. He He's hasn't, talking about me, No, he? I'm talking about the pair of them. They've <laughs> gone out, they've done their business. <clears throat> These people advocate that she's got a freedom of speech. They lose that the minute they attack their first child. She shouldn't even be out. Can I just... Hang on, I object no, most strongly... In, in no, we're no, talking, this is what I'm saying. Yes, but we've, moved it on, we've moved it on from Mary Bell, and we're talking about criminals okay, profiting, profiting, about profiting from their crime. These two gentlemen yeah. profiting from crime. Their crimes, they put their life on the line to do it. They didn't go out attacking. Oh, so that's all right then, is it? No, it isn't no, all right. But you know, but you are. You're drawing a line. You're I drawing a line. You're saying this is more acceptable. I am not drawing a line. He's, he's no, 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 not draw not the line with this gentleman. But he's got the courage to sit there and say, "Yeah, I've done it for the money." Yeah. That mayor who's written a book didn't. She's done it for society. I've never heard so much rubbish in my bloody life. Uh, you're not supposed to swear. I yeah. didn't swear. Uh, you didn't swear. No, all right. Well, that's that's not swearing. Yeah. Okay. No, oh, good. As long as everybody else yeah. agrees with you, we're talking about criminals. I mean, my, my, my friend here charged with two murders, which, his words, uh -huh. I think he said he somebody got away about, with it, but he wasn't, uh, he wasn't convicted. Have you actually no. wrote about the murders? <coughs> I mean, he's not been charged with it, so he's not obviously going to come out and describe the actual murders and whatever else. I mean, the, ma the, the man that murdered my father-in-law, he actually described how he felt, how he felt it was uplifting. I mean, he felt, he felt really good about it. I mean, the Well, he's a sick guy. I, he's sick. I mean, why, why should he have the right uh, to, to, to write books, make a play? I mean, who gives Hugh Collins this right? But the people law? do want to know about they these things, you know. We don't want to know about children. That's no. the old point. No. I don't no. want to know about children. You're making a right? distinction, but it's yeah, okay, there is a distinction. It's okay to write about... So it's all right for the mad axman to write about... Killing everybody, is it? No, no, no. I'm afraid what, what you're saying is, yeah, there is, there is a... You cannot tie all, all criminals no, with the same right. brush. I'm really sorry about that. You draw the line at children oh, uh, and, and the things that so are morally So it's all right to write about a murder? Um, well, it depends, depends on what, what type of murder we're talking about. I want somebody else. Come on, hold on, please, please. I want to talk... Everybody, everybody is... And I'm afraid he died first, and I'm not sorry for that. 
It's, yeah, I've got a daughter of 28. She's still my child. It, do you ever think, when you've written the books and you're making money, what you've done to those victims' families? Even Never. if the guy was another Listen, criminal, Listen. what about his mum and his brother? They live with this for the rest of their lives, and it is all on the side. You cannot make distinctions. We all have our own opinions. I would rather be here talking all, about yeah, writing the book than being buried opinions. and having him talking about the book he wrote about shooting me. We all have our own opinions of who should be able to write books, but you can't make distinctions. Crime does pay, and that is the message we're giving to our kids Well, now. every one of us, and I wrote this book, and it was the number one bestseller, I condemn crime. I can never tell a child or anyone to follow me. Frankie Fraser's done it, Freddie Foreman's done it, Dave Courtney's done it. We have all condemned it. I've had a play right on do I we cannot have to justify teaching. doing that. You know, they're saying that this book, I would this like book to know why was not take. written by a psychiatrist, yeah. and they're saying it'll have a positive effect. I actually think it'll have the opposite effect, because there are lonely 10- and 11-year-old children who could think, well, I'll go and kill a child, do a few years, and come out, I can be a millionaire. No, oh. 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 No, no, my cousin Jason Swift got killed, um, and there is Bye. a book out about that. Bye. Um, it's called Lambs to the Slaughter by Ted Oliver and, and he was killed by paedophiles. Uh, yeah. um, and really this book about Mary Bell it's like a training book for young children yes. as you're yes. saying yes. it is a training yes. guide book for them and I don't think it should be on sale. It brings up old wounds for the lady over this there. This is the tragic story. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Stop being human beings because we're victims nowadays. Mm -hmm. Is that what people are saying? We are not human beings. No, we can, no, uh, what, my family can be used. The people in here's family can be used because they are now not human beings. Clive? They're victims. We can do what the hell we like with them. Clive. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry about that. The problem, no, no, no. The there she is. No, no, no. Answer no, no. that. The, answer that. No, no, I will. The problem is always victims. There are always victims in any walk of life. More victims than criminals. No, there are not. There are yes, far yes. more criminals yes. than there are victims. Yes, no, yes. No. victims no. to no. one grave. There are more victims in criminals. Well, well, it's it, a matter of fact. Well, but let's not argue the facts. All right. Let, June's right. It's, it's, inevitably, you're wrong. No, 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 leave that. But if 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 you if you look at it. Are you going to learn? Is anybody going to learn? Is Mr. Courtney and Mr. Lamborghini here with their, with their stories going to be able to send a message to anybody? Are kids going to read that, those books and say, I'm going to have a, a, a glamorous life of crime like these guys? Or am I going to end up spending two thirds or three parts of my life glamorous. in prison? Well, I don't call that it's becoming no, no, glamorous. that's what I'm saying. It's no, becoming no, glamorous. No, no. One, of your, one, of your, one of your colleagues is all on chat shows, Mad Frank. No, no, he's doing it. Frankie Fraser, Frankie Fraser can get up there. And he said it many times. But if anyone wants to follow me after 40 years of imprisonment, if they want to admire that, then there's something wrong in this world. He said it. He said it. Helen, Helen, Helen. I just want to know how everyone can know about these books before they've been written. I mean, how can you make up your mind whether something's going to be useful before it's even, you know, you've even read it? I want to you know, have the opportunity. And the thing is, coming on to the money thing, coming on. Well, I want to make up my own mind. I want to read the book. I want to make up my own mind. I can't say. No, 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 all these people, all, all these people, I bet there's nobody here who's actually read this book because it hasn't even, you know, come out yet. Yeah, it's only really come really out yet. Really well, really you know, it's out like a few well, days ago. It's, it's published today, but it's been available for quite a, a well, number of days. Margaret, 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 Excuse me, are you a mother? Yeah. The, 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 sad fact, the sad fact of life is that... Why are you asking that? How the hell can she talk about it? If she's not a mother Sorry. and she's not gone through it. How can you decide to read the book and not know anything I about it? I think we can all decide. I think we can all no. make... No. I don't want to read it. I don't want to because I know what it's about. I want the choice to be able to make up my own mind. You want the choice, dear. Come you want the choice, dear, whether this book should come out. Do you mind yeah. if I say something? Because you say a lot, but you mean nothing. Say nothing. Come on. At the end of the day, do you want the choice? You see a magazine article come out that just isn't factual to the end of a murder trial that causes another young boy's death. Well, I do, because I don't think you, you think make that's all right. I do. I don't think you think it's all right that a boy's in his grave? I don't Please. think you can make up your mind about the worth nothing. of an article yes. until you've read it. Until I have read it, it dear. Yeah, but My son died with it in his hands, so don't talk to me yes. about rights and wrongs. And I hope the government's really listening here. I truly do. I would like indeed. to speak to you Very after the programme.
It's yeah. very dangerous to try and stop something coming out. The only oh, way to cool. deal with no. these things it's is It's very stopping. dangerous when they're lies and they cause a young boy's death. Nice, but but that's what so I'm left with people. no children, but you'd rather have magazine it article people come do, out. People do write lies, they exaggerate I'd rather they speak things to up. They put their sensible bits. journalists and speak to these so-called... Yeah. 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 I, think, I think the problem is censorship is not only dangerous, it, it, it's very difficult. I, I wonder how you would frame legislation uh, to prevent somebody... Uh, Profiting from crime. Journalists actually follow a code. It, it, ironically, this hey. story couldn't have come. Yeah, this story could not have come out through investigative journalism if what was required was for Mary Bell to be paid. Journalists that is now off limits to newspaper journalists. It came out because no such no such statute or no such regulation, self-imposed or not, uh, covers book publishers. Maybe there should be a book publishers complaints commission yeah. as there is for newspapers. The, the, the thing journalists and, and book publishers don't take into consideration when they're publishing all, all these things is our feelings. We don't know about it a lot of the time till it's published. Mm -hmm. Half the time it's not accurate and the damage it does to us again because it's suddenly been published out of the blue you know, ten years down the line, mm -hmm. it does incredible damage to the victims. And, and, and you, you, you the, the, the media have no, no qualms about publishing it. They don't even think to get but hang on, in this, this case, no sympathy for us. It, they, in this case, it wasn't the dodge. media. It wasn't the, no, the newspaper case, media or the, or the, or the broadcast. Yeah, but, but it happens all the time. This is a very important case. Said, the, thing, the thing that happened there is, is, is disgusting. So do, you, do you have, if, if the media has become on, partly on trial over this case, do you have any, do you have any sympathy, David, and I'm talking about sympathy, mm -hmm. for the way in which Mary Bell and have, has been treated by the press, what has happened to her? I don't think I do, actually. I have sympathy um, for her daughter. I think yeah. that, that the daughter is, is unfairly sort of caught... Thankfully not identified, but, but caught in the spotlight. I think that's right. I've heard you say that the yeah. same sort of thing. Um, but, but, but exactly, the woman who opened the gate to the publicity was the mother. Tried to sell a book. Uh, name um, a, no. a daughter would never have come into it. And if it had been my daughter, rather than accept all that money, I would rather have given it up for the sake of my child. Mm. And I've seen my friend whose son was murdered, I've been near her every day for 11 years and seen what it's done to her. So I know what it's done to this lady because I've seen my friend at the time of his death, every time heartbroken, Christmas time, his present, she bought him something and she gave it to the children's home. Do you know where I think that money ought to go? If she could be a decent and Christian person, Give it to those children that's abused like she's been supposedly. Now, who knew that? We've only got her word for it. Her mother's not here to tell us. Bless her wherever she is. She's not here to tell us. But we know as mothers what it must feel like to have a child murdered. June, and I June you, you, you I know, think, June, I, don't I you? Think it, you don't I have to uh, 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 kind of use your imagination. You know. We're talking about the press, and my friend here was yeah. saying they don't take account of what it does to the victims. Yeah. They have. How have you? There is no one takes account apart from a victim who knows what it feels like. I mean, my daughters were made victims. Now my grandson's been made a victim. I mean, in a different way to a murder, but just as hurtful, how just as harmful. How was I made a victim? Yeah. Because I was, because the way I, my childhood was, it was very hard and unloving in that. Because mm, why? Why? Because my mum couldn't love me after losing her son. You know, she found it very hard. I was frightened to love her in case I lost her. I was terrified that some... And I loved her, but I was frightened to show it for the simple reason if someone had took her, I couldn't survive. That's your... That's your... Please, you're telling, you've been telling us a lot about how parent, mothers were feeling and a mother is talking and you're interrupting her. You know, I, I mean... I couldn't take that again, I couldn't lose a child again. So what I done was I stood back and I give them money if they fell down, money if they hurt themselves. I couldn't take them in my arms. Do you know what my daughter even today finds it very hard to tell me she loves us? I've learned how to tell her, but my two daughters find it very Sharon hard to tell me how they love us because of the way I brought them up. They were prisoners until they were old enough to fend for themselves. Prisoners? Prisoners. I had my... my they weren't allowed to play with anybody over the age of 11. They were kept in a garden that was fenced up to the hilt. I used to put um, 
a thing on her, a That's harness right. on her, and I used to put her at the clothesline, so if I did have to go away from her, she couldn't be touched. I would know she would be in the garden where there's nobody knows what the victims. <coughs> you became a protective. You just sound I did. Like, 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 yeah. like the mothers who yeah. have their children taken yeah. the, uh, away exactly. from them, lose yes. them, for, for, even for days. Yes. They feel that same kind. But you also said you actually stopped loving them because you were afraid no. of losing them. I never not, stopped, not, not loving, stopped them. loving them. Sh I stopped showing, showing them love. Because you were afraid of I being thought hurt. If, yeah. I was terribly afraid. Apart from that, uh, I was on um, Mandrex, which is a very hard sedative, and then after that, they tried to wean us off the Mandrex, so then I went on to drink, and then get Ashini fetched her first book out, and I tried to commit suicide, so I went back on it. The marriage broke up too, didn't it? The marriage broke up. I mean, my ex-husband didn't only lose one child, he lost three, because he also lost these two How as well. How did he lose these two? because we're separated and I took these with me. Right, okay. And you were then talking about the effects upon you and your family of losing your son. Yeah. Of him being murdered by... Yeah, uh, horrific. ...by Mary, <coughs> being killed by Mary Bell. What I was asking was, how is the effect, because that's where we were talking about now, the press being upon you. You said it's ruined your life, mm -hmm. Linda, the press. Yes. In what way? Well, I've had... Uh, you, you, I've got four children and my children didn't know nothing about <coughs> this. And now they know. Did you know they didn't now? even know they had an uncle. London. How did they find out? In the street. In the street. How in the street? Kids. Someone, some parents must have read the paper <coughs> and told Brown. their kids who kids I was. And and they were shouting Mary Bell over the fence. And what did you do? <coughs> had to sit down. the kids in. And what's the effect on them? Well, um, my son asked us if Mary Bell was going to come and get him. And my daughter, all she wrote, she's got one of them little pink secret diaries, what you print in. She's wrote Mary is a killer. And she's <coughs> only seven. And this is because you learnt the way you did, but you never had time to tell them. No, well, what about want, your child? Didn't want to tell them. Want to to live a new life. We've never, we've never, we've never talked about this for years, and then all of a sudden we're having to talk about it because everybody else is. What about the way you were treated by the press as you were growing up? I don't know. My mum used to shield her. She used to hide her. I protected them for 30 years from the press, and I never spoke out at anything Mary Bell had done through her life, even though we were having a child, yeah. because I thought that child's life was precious, and I know how, how precious that a child's life is. Do you feel any sympathy for the way do. she's been treated? By the, by the Do you feel any sympathy at all for the way she's been she's treated? She's brought it on herself. She's not a child now. But the child hasn't, though, has it? No. Uh, no, well, that, that is a different matter totally. That yeah. child, uh, it, that yes. is his disgusting. She has now made that child a victim, which is terrible. These kids have had to run away from the press all their lives. Isn't, isn't the point here that this has been badly handled by the publishers, by Gita Serini? Yes. You should have been informed that this book was coming out. You should have been told well in advance that it was being written. You should have been prepared. I don't think the publishers or Gita Serini had any idea what effect it would have on Mary Bell and her family. They thought that I would just lie down the same way as I did for her first possibly, because I possibly. was ill then, but I'm not ill now and I'll fight it all yeah. the way along the line. Fleet Street has been looking for a way of outing Mary Bell for 30 years. They have been restrained from doing that, as David said, by injunctions. What has happened now is this book has been written and they found a way of getting to her. The horror is that you weren't told and her own daughter didn't know. Which also is part of this learning from this book is we're learning about, we're supposed, Mary <coughs> Bell's childhood and the influence on her parents. Are we saying, we, are we accepting part of the argument here that the parents, her parents, are responsible, at least to some extent, for what she did? Well, I think that, first of all, no one should have to lose a child. I think this must be this terrible thing that's happened to anyone. But the second thing, I think, is there's another victim here, and that is Mary Bell herself. Because Mary Bell at 11 is not Mary Bell at 41. They are two completely different people. And I don't think any of us can be held responsible at 30, 40 or 50 for what we did when we were 11. However oh, awful it might no. be. Oh, she made her choice at 11. My four-year-old son knows what's right and wrong. Exactly. Mary Bell at 11 knew uh, you're what was her. right and wrong. He, she knew that it was bad. If a four-year-old knows it's, it's bad to hit his brother, then Does surely 11-year-old knows course, it's bad. Of course they may know it, but sometimes 
other things take over and they do things. I'm not going to try and psychoanalyze why she did it. God knows why she did it. I don't suppose she knows why she did it. But I'm sure of one thing, and that is that she's regretted it every day of her life since then. And do you know that? You can't go on and on and on blaming someone for something they did when they were a small child. I still feel the same person as I do from the age of 11. I just feel a bit wiser. Well, I'm sorry, I don't. I do. I'm exactly the same person. Well, then you I've got the same morals. I'm perfectly grown up. Thank you. I'm a mother of two children who are perfectly well adjusted, very well brought up children, and they know the difference and you were between abused. right and wrong. I was abused. I was physically, mentally, sexually abused by my stepfather. My mother abandoned me for my stepfather when he was sentenced to 10 years in prison. And look at me. And you I didn't commit murders? Of course not. I've, I've not discussed murders. of compassion in your body, have you? No. Can well, I? you should have, because Why if you have I? children, you should be compassionate. Of course, I'm one, compassionate for my children. Of course, but I one day, I gave birth to my first son, day, I know what pure love is, one, and I've got that for my children. But I don't feel compassion one for One day, if, if Mary Bell, Bell was apparently never had any love, nobody this. ever felt... Please, I never, please, I, please, I please, was please, never loved. I grew up till I was 13 in a militia-style household. Can then, I just... Then, just finished. And then... At 13, when we finally had the courage to tell the police, my mother abandoned me. She didn't love me. She abandoned me for my stepfather, who got 10 years for raping me and my sister. And then I went and lived with my father, who had been divorced from my mother since I was 18 months old. And God bless him, he just didn't know what to do. Perhaps, he, he didn't know what to do. Perhaps you're he a didn't know how to show me love. I've not, I wasn't shown love until I met my husband. You're a very strong person, no, and you can't. I'm the weakest person I know, and I cope very badly with situations. Every, everybody makes choices. Both my brother and I were both sexually abused. My brother then went on to abuse me. He made a choice. He turned to a life of crime, not only abuse but other things as well. I didn't. I made the choice not to. Paul, <coughs> when we're working with young offenders, we have to do two things. We have to understand what led to the disturbance which caused them to commit offences. And if you look at children who kill, they do typically have a history of abuse, emotional neglect and trauma in their own childhood. But at the same time, we have to bring them to an appropriate sense of guilt for what they've done. Both those things are a very important part of their rehabilitation. And we do need to learn why it is that some children with those experiences commit serious offences and others don't. Can I just say, I, after I disclosed about my abuse, I had excellent counselling, mm. um, which I think, you know, was a big part of why I But Paul I is saying we need to know was. why you didn't uh, commit offences, given your background, but your brother did. I think, I think there's, there's a lot of factors involved. Mm. I don't think you can pick out one particular thing. I think maybe, in general, I am a stronger person than my brother, but I also think that... I'm, I'm, I'm naturally a weak-willed person. Anybody that knows me would tell you that. But <coughs> when you know that something someone else is doing to you, like the sexual abuse, like the beatings, like the not being told by your mother that you're loved, when that happens, you know it doesn't feel right. Oh, and so you are just Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. I tell my children I love them 50 times a day. Yeah. I don't think you can tell them no. enough how much So I hang love on, you knew the difference like between right and wrong? Oh, yes. Don't you knew the difference between right and wrong? Mary Bell knew the difference between right and wrong, Paul, at 11. It, it's clear from her upbringing and her yes. disturbance that her responsibility was reduced as compared with an adult doing the same thing who hadn't had that background or any other people simply to abandon all responsibility for their actions. We have to bring them to a sense of guilt for what they've done in order that they can then restrain those impulses in the future and become rehabilitated. One of the tragedies of this whole event is that somebody who for 18 years had been a seriously disturbed child who had been successfully rehabilitated is now in a position where as a result of this tragic chain of events that rehabilitation at least for the moment has been wrecked with why are you, real why are you puffing Margaret why are you why are you <laughs> Why are you, why? Who says she's been rehabilitated? What do we know what crime she's committed since the 18 years? <laughs> and she's certainly committed a very serious crime again. She's robbed the innocent graves of these children. Uh, so she's a very she evil woman. She was, a, she was diagnosed as a psychopath, wasn't she? Yes, she was. That's well, you right can't lose that. That's with you the rest of your life. You have no compassion when you're a psychopath. I don't know why she was allowed to have a child. We're Let talking about, about uh, part of the explanation, part of the rationale, justification, <coughs> excuse, call it what you will for the book, is to get into her mind, to understand why she did what she did, and part of the explanation is, ah, well, you have to look at her background. And she had this terrible background with a mother of prostitute, exploiting her, abusing her, <coughs> that she didn't know the difference between right and wrong.
I think every child knows the difference between right and wrong. I was abused physically as a child and I was sexually abused from the age of 14. Um, I don't go out and murder children. I don't go out and I think, ab think about killing somebody else. But do you, you not know, feel... I know the difference between right and wrong. And any child knows the difference between right and wrong, just as any adult knows the difference between right and wrong. But do you not feel... And this is what I find hard to believe, is that people who have been victims of abuse find it so hard to find any sympathy for Mary Bell, who, despite her crimes, was also it appears, a victim of abuse she first. That, that's what I don't understand. Turn around, turn around then. Ask, ask. We don't ask. understand that because she knew exactly what she was doing. She mm, knew she what knew. she was doing was wrong. She knew when she did it that it was wrong. If my four-year-old son knows that to harm somebody else in a physical way or mental way or is wrong, any, anything, any living thing, to harm any living thing is wrong. My four-year-old son knows that and I, I've taught him don't that. You, I think that Mary my Bell mother. knows that now, doesn't she? Yeah. Did she know at 11? You're saying you don't understand. Mary Bell did know, did know at 11, okay, she has committed a crime, and a terrible crime, and nobody is trying to in any way belittle the crime, but they're just because one feels sympathy for the victim of the crime doesn't mean one is automatically banned from feeling sympathy for the offender as well. Excuse me, I have one eleven year old also. I was sexually, it. mentally, physically abused like yourselves, ladies. And I feel it for the, for the victims' families here that are here. Nobody gives a damn about them. That's Hence, not true. Yes, to make it the is. Excuse me. Bell doesn't you're mean you saying, don't care like about the victims. just said there, you, what you're saying here is that child sex abuse isn't an excuse. Child sex abuse oh, is no right. excuse. Yeah. I had a choice in my life. Like the others here, like most of them here, hence I opened a charity because there was nobody to help these victims. Nobody, like Margaret said in the front there, it's right. She is the psychopath, like half of my family, and all these victims here. I'm just fed but up. Everybody you, wants the perpetrators. Yes, yes, just very, for the very perpetrators. You do, do yeah, but he's, say, he's saying that you, because you've been there, uh -huh. is there any element where you feel that you could see why she? No, did? I do not. No, Robert, Never. because I was when I was three when I was first abused. Now, eleven-year-old, my daughter is eleven. And she knows exactly what's right from wrong. Now, what the ladies said was, you had make a choice in your life. I made a choice to take the good path. Yeah. Now, they choose to do that. And I'm sick of hearing about paedophiles and child killers and that, that get all the sympathy. Yeah. But June, we're talking about you. All the way through, we're talking about you and your, and your son and your family. Is it possible, can you forgive? Do you know, three weeks ago, I had learned how to stop hating this girl. I'd never forgive her for the life I've had to leave. But three weeks ago, before this come, I had actually stopped hating her. I mean, I thought she was a child, a child murderer, and that is why. She's 41 now, and she started crucifies again. She is responsible for her, what she, her actions now, and there's no way I would destroy my child's life, like she has, for any money in the world. These are my children, they're worth any, any, more than any money. You're a different person now. You're a stronger person. I'm strong. And she's strong. making me strong, strong because of what she's done to us. But do you think she Take care of yourself. See now. you in the morning. The NSPCC are extending their helpline to women who've been on the receiving end of domestic violence. Find out why on today's really useful show at 10.55. Has your partner's drinking destroyed your relationship? Then call Kilroy now on 090-200-567. Did it destroy your family? Have you left someone who wouldn't stop drinking or perhaps you've stood by your partner and helped him to give up the booze? Rick. <laughs>